What's making the weekend headlines where you are? Good evening. Midwives in Newcastle and across the country protested today against what they call a crisis in the profession. Royal College of Midwives says more than half are considering leaving the job and many are unhappy about the care they're able to deliver. Julia Breen has been at the vigil at Grey's Monument today. Maternity wards are critically unsafe, say midwives. They're concerned about baby and mother mortality rates. And protesters like student midwife Philippa Talbot here today are demanding urgent action. We are just so stretched to the max, um, we're just not able to do what we need to do. And the big problem is we are losing a lot of midwives. It is reaching the point which things could get dangerous. The March with Midwives protest took place across the country today to protest at what they call a crisis in the profession. A recent Royal College of Midwives survey showed that there is a shortage of 2,500 midwives nationally. 57% are thinking of leaving the profession within the year. 84% of midwives are concerned about staffing levels, while 41% of maternity services are rated inadequate by the Care Quality Commission. Those here today say it's not just infant mortality and health that's a concern, but the lower rates of breastfeeding. They're calling on the government to urgently fund more staff and reduce the pressure on existing midwives. My son's life was saved by a midwife. Uh, he developed meningitis and septicemia when he was only 28 hours old. And if it hadn't been for that midwife being alert and attentive, we've been told by doctors it is possible he would not be here today. It is affecting care for women. They're not getting the care that they deserve. A Department for Health spokesman said there had actually been a reduction in the number of infant deaths of those born after 24 weeks. We are committed to patient safety, eradicating avoidable harms and making the NHS the safest place in the world to give birth. There are more midwives working in the NHS now than at any other time in its history and we are aiming to hire 1,200 more with a £95 million recruitment drive. Those protesting here today say they just want to give every child the healthiest possible start in life. Julia Breen, ITV News, Newcastle. A 25-year-old man is in a life-threatening condition after a collision that closed a major Gateshead road this morning. The incident happened on the A194 at around 10 past 5 when an HGV collided with a pedestrian near to the junction of Follingsby Lane. Police want to speak to any witnesses. Now, doors have reopened at a Gateshead Health Centre to treat people with minor injuries. From today, people can visit Bladen Urgent Treatment Centre without an appointment. The site had been a COVID vaccination and testing hub. The service aims to alleviate pressure from accident and emergency departments. It's, it's just to reinforce the patients and everything that they need for emergency things. So anybody with suspected heart attacks, strokes, very heavy bleeding, uh, severe breathlessness, um, um, allergic reactions, they will still need to either ring 999 or go to the accident and emergency department, but urgent treatment centre is for minor things. On to sport now and football was back this weekend and the pressure was on at Middlesbrough and Newcastle as both clubs went into their games under new management. Jenny Henry reports. Newcastle fans spent the international break dreaming of a win under Eddie Howe, but after a positive Covid test on Friday night, the Magpies took on Brentford without the gaffer. A 10-minute goal from Jamal Lascelles was soon followed by an equaliser 60 seconds later, and the flip-flopping continued. One for Brentford, one for Newcastle. An own goal then left the Magpies down, but a fantastic strike from Alan St. Maximan and an even better celebration brought it back. It ended 3 all, so not a defeat, but still no wins this season. Over at the Riverside, and although the Borough's new manager was in attendance, it wasn't the glorious start he was after either. It was looking good when Matt Crooks got the ball in the back of the net just 15 minutes in, but a disappointing own goal from Sol Bamba left Borough reeling. Walking away from Millwall with one point probably wasn't the start Chris Wilder was looking for. Jenny Henry, ITV News.
And that is it from the weekend team. We're back with bulletins throughout Good Morning Britain tomorrow. Emma Jessen's got the weather coming up next. We'll see you soon. Do take care. Bye-bye. Bringing you blue skies and sunshine. TUI sponsors ITV Time Tees Weather. Hello there. I do hope you're enjoying your day. There have been some spectacular shots from around the region today. Lovely rainbow there. Thank you for sharing, Charlotte. And as we move through into the new week, there'll be quite a bit of sunshine around. I shall explain exactly what's happening. Things will turn colder, though. So let's take a closer look. This high pressure is going to dig in properly for Monday and Tuesday, introducing slightly less chilly air than we had today. And then on Wednesday, all eyes on this cold front as it moves through. Timing's a little bit uncertain at the moment. And then the cold front introduces colder air again, and the high pressure behind me is set to stay with us from Thursday onwards, maybe introducing some winteriness in the form of possibly some ice towards the end of the week. As we head into the evening and the overnight period tonight, you can see the showers just keep on coming, although they won't be as heavy as they were today, some clearer spells in between, and it is going to remain quite breezy out there, windy enough to stop temperatures from falling too far, so we're not really expecting any icy stretches there. Here is sunrise and sunset times for tomorrow. Sun's up at 7.48. First thing, it's going to be bright and chilly. Again, just one or two showers through the first part of the day, but they do fade, and by the afternoon, some really good spells of sunshine opening up just fair weather clouds slightly better temperatures than today and then cloudy and dry on tuesday bye bye tui sponsors itv time tees weather